after two consecutive crashes of 737 MAX, one for Lion Air Flight and second for Ethiopian Airlines, the company was under pressure. The two fatal crashes raised the question over the passenger's safety and company's reputation. Here the suspected culprit was MCAS, or Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System. Involvement of 737 into crashes was a nightmare for Boeing. However, investigations were carried out for both the crashes, and the factor that was common to both crashes was MCAS. The United States Civil Transport Investigating Authority, NTSB, or National Transportation Safety Board, finds MCAS guilty for both the crashes. Here, we would like to tell you that Boeing 737 MAX is a fourth generation of civil aircraft that was derived from Boeing 737 Next Generation to compete Airbus A320 near family. In 737 MAX, Boeing changed its some design features. In normal aircraft, engines lies below wingspan, as old version of Boeing variants. But in 737 MAX, engines were slightly shifted forward, and also in upward. Or technically, we can say, pylons was redesigned. If you have seen Boeing aircraft, then you have noticed, that engines remains close to ground, means smaller ground clearance for aircraft, so the bottom part of engines were kept flat in old variants. But when powerful engines were installed, in Boeing 737 MAX, company needed more room to fit engines along with sufficient ground clearance. And due to this reason, engines were shifted from their standard positions to compensate these changes. This change design feature doesn't affect aircraft normally, but every aircraft in its flight phase passes through a situation called stall. Stall is an undesirable situation for a flight. The lift for aircraft increases with angle of attack proportionally, but after a certain angle of attack, lift vanishes abruptly, and in this situation aircraft gets stalled. Stall is a subject of advanced aerodynamics which is considered during design of aircraft. During testing of aircraft, Boeing found that stall characteristics have been changed due to changes made for sufficient ground clearance, and here MCAS system was come into existence to compensate these changes. MCAS stands for Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System. MCAS was installed to control maneuvering characteristic of the aircraft. In normal flight takeoff, when aircraft reaches to its takeoff speed, control column has to be pulled for the movement of elevators. Elevator is a control surface on rudder for the control of pitch motion of aircraft. When high speed airflow over it, this elevator downs the tail or impenage section of aircraft due to which nose of aircraft goes in upward direction and aircraft makes takeoff and starts to climb as engines continuously provides thrust. During climb period of aircraft, the control column has be held in a fixed position until cruising altitude reached. In this pilot, takes advantages of trim control. Elevators are controlled by hydraulics actuators and horizontal stabilizers are controlled by jack screw mechanism. The motion of horizontal stabilizers is directly controlled by pilots. Switches are provided in yoke or control to control motion. The movement of horizontal stabilizer is crucial for whole aircraft as it makes aircraft sensitive to airflow. So according to need and situation, pilots deliberately trims aircraft. Trim actually locks control surfaces in fixed position made by pilot. Trim takes aircraft up to cruising altitude, and this will continue even after cruising altitude, if pilot does takes control over it. Similarly during landing or descent, trim is taken in use, and every aircraft is incorporated with this. MCAS activates in the situation, when pilot by mistake, applied air brakes or throttle system get disengaged due to technical failure and speed of aircraft begins decrease and aircraft starts decent motion. When plane starts decent motion, then autopilot system of aircraft starts to nose up the plane to maintain the required altitude. With decrease in speed of aircraft, angle of attack or pitch angle continuously increases up to a point called critical angle of attack. At this point, the aircraft would have its minimum velocity and maximum angle of attack 
In this scenario plane will not have sufficient speed to continue motion, so the plane starts to fall like a leaf. There are many warning system and shakers to warn pilot. Stall recovery maneuvering system is basic training system given to every pilot to recover from stall. In stall recovery, pilots take help of elevators, they nose down the plane, and with help of gravity and speed is built for airplane. Now, one can smartly question, why pilot not increases speed with speed throttles, and exactly at this point MCAS is needed. Engines are mounted below the wings, and at the time stall, it has direction somewhat parallel to pitch angle. In this situation, when pilot will give maximum thrust to engine, engine will develop pitch up force, and it would not let the plane to nose down. That's why first pilots nose down the plane, and then gently thrusts the plane with pitch angle and they continue the process, so that plane don't face secondary stall. In case of 737 MAX, with change design feature of airplane, the phenomena of increase in pitch with thrust get increased, and to compensate this MCAS was invented by Boeing. In its functioning, MCAS system automatically triggers before a plane reaches to critical angle of attack. And within time, MCAS trims the aircraft and starts to nose down the plane. This was the main purpose to install MCAS. In both the airplane crashes, Ethiopian and Lion Air flights, both planes appear to have lost altitude in first few minutes of their flights. There are many sensors and pitot tubes on plane which continuously transfers the data of angle of attack to the flight computer system. If there is fault in this tubes, or sensors then MCAS will be automatically triggered. It also may happen, that MCAS activates at wrong time. This accident could have been avoided, if the MCAS had not overridden the pilot's command. Now after 4 years of crash, what changes are made by Boeing? When is MCAS activated? The MCAS will function, and operates in unusual flight conditions only, and now relies on two sensors, activates only once, and never overrides pilot's ability to control the airplane. It will only activate in the rare instance when all of these three conditions occur at the same time. Number 1. The airplane angle of attack approaches a value higher than normal due to very slow speeds or aggressive maneuvering. Number 2. The pilot is flying manually. Number 3. The airplane flaps are up. The autopilot's response to slow airspeed situations has been changed such that the autopilot will disconnect upon reaching significantly low speed. The disconnect alerts the flight crew to correct the situation by recovering airspeed manually. After evaluating feedback from the global aviation community, the FAA validated Boeing's proposal for pilot training. After these changes and some minor updates, Boeing is now back to service. We hope you liked the video. If yes, then like. Comment and share the video.